What's up guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to speedrun the InSight Terminus Nightfall and farm for the Long Goodbye Sniper Rifle. This sniper is awesome and I'll show you why in a minute. In the first part of the video I'll be discussing the sniper itself, the curated role, the triumph for the specific Nightfall and giving some advice for the high score run. The second part of the video will be the actual speedrunning part. So the triumph for this Nightfall is very easy, all you have to do is stand on each plate during the boss fight until it is fully captured without leaving it. This can be achieved easily with a well of radiance and or a tether. If you don't abandon the plates until they're captured, then you'll unlock the capture completionist triumph. When it comes to the item you'll be farming for, we're looking today at the Long Goodbye, an arc energy sniper that is a curated role with the following perks. Rapid hit, range finder, light mag, and polygonal rifling. Now this sniper is awesome, not because of its curated role, but because of a role that allows you to essentially fire 11 shots without reloading. If you roll this weapon with extended mag, you'll have a base magazine of 5 rounds, but if you toss on a backup mag, well you're already looking at 7 rounds in this thing. Now it gets better. If you roll it with 4th times the charm as well, which grants 2 bullets back for rapidly landing precision hits, you're looking at a potential 11 round sniper rifle. That's insane. Now of course that would be more for your PvE crowd, but the weapon can also roll with the perks you're seeing on screen now. The sniper is definitely worthwhile to farm. So I've seen a lot of comments saying it's best to complete a 100,000 score run before doing speedruns as it's supposed to increase your chances. Personally I've seen no impact of that in the many many runs I've done since Nightfall scoring was implemented. I got one of these long goodbyes to drop on my second run yesterday after reset. It was a low scoring speed run without doing any high score runs first. And then I got one later in the day after 15 or so runs from a 100k score run. Meanwhile my buddy got nothing before or after the high score run and I'm pretty confident it's entirely up to RNG. There doesn't seem to be any actual effect from wearing the emblem or doing a high score run, even though a higher score was supposed to increase your chances, but I still don't buy it. It can't hurt to be superstitious, so whatever works for you. I just wanted to share my experience of Nightfall scoring. It just seems to be 100% random. Speaking of high score runs, for this strike, if you're going to do a 100k run, I'd set your challenge card up with either Solar or Void Singe, Extinguish, Match Game, and Grounded. And when it comes to the power handicap, if you have a tether and can make a lot of orbs, you can get by without increasing the power handicap from zero at all. But for most people, I'd recommend running a total score multiplier of around 3.1 to 3.5 times for this strike. That's usually what I'd recommend for most strikes if you're killing most enemies in them. Around the mid threes should give you enough breathing room to not have to rush or kill every single dude. Most enemies here have solar or void shields with just a few harpies and only two cabal dudes in the entire strike having arc shields. Alright so for the speed run, solar or void singe and heavyweight is really all you need. A tether is fantastic and so is a well of radiance, but you can absolutely make any super work for this strike. You'll be running through most of the strike like our previous garden world speed run only having to really stop for two encounters. One is the drop pod section and the other being the final boss. Since most of the strike is just dodging enemies, I'll let the footage play for a bit so you can get an idea of what the run looks like, and I'll catch back up when we get to the drop pod room. Vex installations. However, removing him can only 
strengthen our position. Put him down. I have good news. And bad news. Give us the good news first. The good news is that Cargan is killing Vex by the dozen. Once you get to the drop pod room, you want to head towards where Cargan is, and once you reach the stairs, it will activate the spawning of the mini bosses. You can approach this a few different ways. If you're brave enough, you can get up close and personal and immediately take down the Cabal boss that lands in a drop pod and then get out of there and deliver the orb. Or you can play it safe and use the rocks to the left from where you enter the encounter as cover, using a tether where the enemies group up and taking out the mini boss with a sleeper simulant or whatever weapon you choose to use. Your team size will definitely have an impact on your strategy here. The more people you have, the easier it is to just run in there and kill everything. This will definitely be the hardest section though of the entire Nightfall, just staying alive here can be difficult. But as long as you insert both orbs to open the door, even if you die, you'll respawn here and won't have to repeat this encounter, which is pretty nice. Cargan. Wow. Okay, don't get hit. For the boss fight, it is possible to one phase Cargan with a coordinated team, but most of the time it will usually be easier to just go with a two phase. We did manage a one phase with two Wardcliffe coils, a banner shield, well of radiance, melting point, and empowering melee with a heavyweight modifier on. But since I'm dumb, I forgot to change the modifiers over to Arc Singe, so I bet you you might be able to get away with a quick melt using less. This boss is no doubt one of the more difficult ones to instantly kill, since he goes immune so fast, but thankfully a two phase doesn't require too much more time. Overall, this nightfall is pretty easy and definitely doable solo, although bringing at least one buddy along will probably cut your time in half. Running tractor cannons and slova bombs on Void Singe was probably the most fun method of speedrunning this. I definitely recommend you try it out. Anyway, that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching the video and good luck on getting your own long goodbye.